Yeah, if I just make a short update on my hay pile. You know, I stacked it last week there when it was wet. Well, the bales might have been a little bit damp yet, but I stacked it before all this rain we got. And like I said, I don't like stacking it that soon because it needs to sweat out. And my plan was, you know, to take the tarp off of it for a while, but then we got four or five days of rain, three inches, four inches of rain, whatever we got, it just kept pouring. So I never got the tarp off. And a couple days ago I did. And this is what I had on it. And I found bales of mold on them. And then they called for more rain, so I tarped it back up. And like I say, when I saw this, I was so worried that uh, this whole pile is going to be crap. That's the problem. The tarp doesn't breathe. It doesn't let that moisture out. So like I say, I got, I got spots like this. So then yesterday, we got nice weather again, so I pulled the tarp off again. Now this doesn't look as bad today as it did yesterday. I think this mold's drying up some. But I've taken a couple bales in to feed. And you can see here, the ends look good. Now there's always going to be this here. It's going to in between, but there is no heat in here. And I don't know if it's, what it's going to be. You know, you get down in the middle pile, the bales in the middle here. You see, there's three across the bottom. One's in the middle. They might not have kept. But these on the outside have the option to breathe through. So like I say I'm hoping they air off. But the ones I've taken in have been pretty good so far. Yeah, you know, I got to watch. I got to take all this off. And just, so far it's only been one or two wraps around there. And like this here, you might have to pull a couple extra handfuls off here, kind of separate it out, but it has not been bad. So, so far it's just surface on the outside of the pile. So. But I'll go down here to the bale I got open, and I'll show you what it looks like. You know, the barn's kind of dark, so I don't know how well this is going to show up. But this is a bale I brought in yesterday. And you can see, I don't get no dusty, smoky stuff out of it. Yeah, don't shoot. Not enough light on this side, but you can say, see, see, it's still pretty green. No dust coming out of it. So, so far I'm feeling I'm pretty lucky that it's just going to be the surface of the outside. Yeah. Right there is where I took off that bale last night. What's left though, we use some of it for bedding, so. What are you looking at, Molly? Hmm? Molly? So. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better about that pile of hay now. Today's Saturday, and they got good weather for Sunday yet, and then four days of rain, or three days of rain. And then uh, they got four good days in there, so hopefully we might, might not get these downpours. It'll dry up faster. Maybe I can be chopping this weekend. Like I said, I got that half that filled over there. I want to plant yet. With a oat mix. I went in there today with the discs, and there's some areas I've barely pulled through. But I, well, I get the discs through it, maybe it air out. Well, maybe tomorrow I can try to plow that. At least get that done. I was gonna go try to disc them two pieces I got plowed up, but after pulling through that there, I decided, no, nah, I ain't gonna try to get stuck. So, so but hopefully, maybe this weather will change here some, but. So, well, any time for you guys yet, so I'll behave. But yeah, 
Pays a little bit better shape than what I thought it was going to be. This is the one I just brought in tonight. Speed cows tonight. And that's it. There are going to be some spotty stuff in it, but I, I think I hate it's going to be fine now. I might have a little bit extra to lose on the outside, but so. But that's why I make a 4x4 four four bale, because I got to set the bales in there and then I roll them to the middle of the barn by hand, unwrap them, and feed the cows. Or else I'd probably have a 4x5 baler, but I got, I got to roll them in there and then I flip them up on end by hand, so. I don't want them too much bigger than these. But, but like I say, just a short update on how that hay's turning out. So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.